After the announcement of the series about the Night of the Seven Kingdoms, many internet portals mention that this announcement represents serious problems for other series, such as the prequel of Aegon the Conqueror, the Sea Serpent and even the one about Jon Snow. However, in a publication by George Martin himself, not only he makes clear the status of the production of the new series about the Night of the Seven Kingdoms, but he also talks about the other series in the Game of Thrones universe, and contrary to what many have said, this is amazing news. So if you want to know what will happen in the Game of Thrones universe, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Welcome to the Three-Eyed Raven. This blog was posted today on George Martin's official website, and reads as follows. The news is all over the internet by now. The announcement was made on the 12th, at Warner Media's big press event for the rollout and rebranding of their new streamer, Max, coming your way on May 23rd. I was sworn to secrecy till then, but now that the word is out, I can go ahead and confirm it. Yes, it's true. There's another successor show on its way to you. Dunk and Egg are coming to HBO. The working title will be A Knight of the Seven Kingdoms, The Hedge Knight. Whether that will be the final title, I can't say for sure. Beyond saying that no, it won't be called Tales of Dunk and Egg, or The Adventures of Dunk and Egg, or Dunk and Egg, or anything along those lines. I love Dunk and I love Egg. And I know that fans refer to my novellas as the Dunk and Egg stories sure, but there are millions of people out there who do not know the stories and the title needs to intrigue them too. If you don't know the characters, Dunk and Egg sounds like a sitcom. Laverne and Shirley, Abbott and Costello, Beavis and Butthead. So, no. We want a knight in the title. Knighthood and chivalry are central to the themes of these stories. This part of the news is focused on confirming the series, and lets us know something interesting, the series will not have the same name with the one it was announced, or at least this could change. But Martin goes on to tell us about the plans for this story saying the following. Aside from the title, what else can I tell you? Not a lot. HBO has given us a green light to film for a full season, not just a pilot, most likely of six episodes though that is not set in stone, and won't be until considerably later in the process. To date I have written and published three novellas about Dunk and Egg, The Hedge Knight, The Sworn Sword, and The Mystery Knight. Each of them initially published independently in various anthologies before being collected together in A Knight of the Seven Kingdoms. Although in the blog Martin says he can't say much about this series, little by little he begins to reveal information that we don't know about the production, such as this will be a series and not a movie. He even tells us the story that will be included in this series and I quote, Our premiere season will be an adaptation of the first of the three published novellas, The Hedge Knight, the tale of how Dunk and Egg first met during a tournament at Ashford Meadow. The pilot script is already written and I think it's terrific. It was written by Ira Parker, who is no stranger to Westeros. He was part of Ryan Condal's writing staff for the first season of House of the Dragon, and wrote the fourth episode of House of the Dragon's first season, King of the Narrow Sea. That's the one where Prince Daemon returns to King's Landing after conquering the Stepstones, and takes Princess Rhaenyra down into the stews of Flea Bottom. Ryan Condal is on board as well, as an executive producer. So am I. There is no date set yet for the series premiere, or even for the show to begin shooting, but the writing is well underway. Ira has assembled a small but very talented team, and they are at it already, building on the foundations laid down last year in previous creative summits, and of course on the original novella. The Dunk and Egg novellas are fully fleshed narratives more like the novels of A Song of Ice and Fire than the imaginary history of fire and blood. The stories are right there on the page, and our goal is to produce faithful adaptations of those tales for the screen. I think I speak for everyone when I say that this news is very good, 
because it means that this universe is expanding beyond the tales of the fight for the throne, as we had already mentioned. It's good to know that different veterans of the Game of Thrones universe are working on this new production. Martin closes his blog with one of the most important news, where he denies rumors of spin-off cancellations in this universe. Precisely something that we had mentioned in the video with the news of the Night of the Seven Kingdoms. In that video, we mentioned that Dunkin Egg was first mentioned in 2016, and that it took seven years to start, so we must trust what Martin says. Well let us hear from his own words what he mentions about these spin-off series, and I quote. Way back in the summer of 2016, when HBO first started thinking about Game of Thrones spin-offs, I pitched them two ideas, The Dance of the Dragons, which in due time became House of the Dragon, and Dunkin' Egg. That was seven years ago, I can hardly believe it myself. The lesson there is that development takes time. I see all these stories on the net about other spin-offs being killed or abandoned, no idea where they get this stuff, and it just makes me shake my head. The Nymeria show is still in development, so is the Sea Snake show. Just had a great week on that one, working with writers. And there are others, both live action and animated. How many will get the green light like Dunkin' Egg? Impossible to say. How long will it take? It depends. No one knows for sure. When I was in grade school, there was a cop show that ended every week with, there are 8 million stories in the naked city. This has been one of them. And that was only New York City. Westeros and Essos are a lot bigger, with even more stories. We just need time to tell them. Ironically, the news about the cancellations came from George Martin himself, as in the past he mentioned that some programs were put on hold. However, the press interpreted this as cancellations. Looking at what Martin is saying in perspective, we must be patient and these series will eventually come. We will not have four series being aired simultaneously, but we will possibly have an annual series in the Game of Thrones universe, plus movies coming in the future. But there is something George didn't mention, and that is the future of the Snow series. Martin was the first to reveal this spin-off, but he also mentioned that it was a project that Kit Harington had with his own team. So it is not strange that Martin is not so involved, and I think that Snow's series could be among the last productions to be approved. So we have to wait for these series. So far, none of the announced ones have been cancelled, with the exception of Blood Moon and the White Walker's origin story, of which one episode was filmed and it was so disappointing that they decided to cancel it. This is very good news for this universe, and we will certainly be watching for everything that is revealed in the future. But tell me what you think about all that. Are you excited to know what so many series and movies are coming for the Game of Thrones universe? And if you liked this content, I invite you to become a member of this channel. Each contributor will see their name at the end of all videos. And for more videos with theories, news, and stories from the Game of Thrones universe, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. You are on. The Three-Eyed Raven